Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps on how to search up a shared folder with advanced NTFS permissions on Windows Server 2022. Computers are networked together so that they can share data and resources. In other words, you are sharing a folder from one computer so that users at other computers on the network can access its information. If you want to access files over the network, you need to configure file sharing on the computer or server on which these files are stored. A common way to deploy a shared resource for storing files is by configuring a Windows file share. Only network connected users can access shared folders. At the setup time, the administrator must assign specific permissions and secure the network with proper security practices. There are several solutions to set up a shared folder in Windows Server 2022. For example, by using the File Explorer, by using the Server Manager dashboard, and by using Command Prompt and PowerShell. In the last video, we have seen the steps to share a folder using File Explorer. In this video, we will use Server Manager dashboard to set up a shared folder in Windows Server 2022. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller for msftwebcast.com domain. We have signed into this domain controller with a domain administrator's account. In the last video, we have created an user account and group in our Active Directory domain. Open Server Manager if it is not opened already. Click on Tools and select Active Directory Users and Computers to access the Management Console. In Sales OU, we have put the users that are in a Sales Department and all the groups associated with Sales Department users. We have an user account named Sam Harper and he is a member of the group named Sales Group. We will use Sales Group to assign permissions on shared folder and use Sam Harper's user account to access the shared folder on our Windows 11 computer. Go back to Server Manager. From the left menu, select File and Storage Services. In the next window, Click on Shares. We can see all folders currently shared on this server. Since this is a domain controller, we have two shared folder, NetLogon and Syswall. And in the last video, we have created another shared folder named Cells File. Click on Task and select a New Share. This will launch the wizard to share a folder. For general file sharing and basic setup, select SMB Share Quick Profile and then click on Next. From the local server, choose the volume where you would like to create the share. Select Type a Custom Path and click on Browse. Search for the folder to share and then click on Select this folder. I have created one folder on C drive with the name Sales Data RW for this example. You can also create folder from here if required. Select Sales Data RW folder and then click on Select Folder. The local folder path is set. Click on Next. By default, the shared name of the folder will be the folder name. If necessary, you can change the shared name as per your requirement. Enter a description so we can identify why we have shared this folder. We can see the local path and remote path of the folder which are sharing. Click on Next. On the Configure Share Settings page, select options for access based enumeration, offline file caching, and data encryption as desired. Choose Enable Access Based Enumeration checkbox. This will only display the files and folders that a user has permission to access. If a user 
does not have minimum read only level permission for a folder windows will hide the folder from users view the encrypt option which used for enhanced security significantly affects the performance of file transfers to and from the shared folder click next by default the share permission is everyone full control so click on customize permissions to modify the default ntfs permissions the folder will inherit the ntfs permissions from the parent folder so i'm going to disable the inheritance to do so click on disable inheritance in order to ensure that only the desired users can access the folder click the convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object button remove both users entry by default all the users from active directory are member of that users group and that's why we have removed both users entries click the add button to add permissions for additional groups click the select principal link at the top of the dialog box and the name of users and groups for which you want to configure access in our case we will enter sales group click check names an entered name is underlined and displayed in the full format if the name is correct and exist in active directory we can enter multiple user or group names if needed click on okay to save the settings and close this window choose the type of permission you want to assign to the selected group by default only the read only permissions are selected to give them right permission select the check box in front of right permission to assign advanced permissions you can click on show advanced permissions from here you can customize the advanced permissions as per your requirement we will assign read and write permission to sales group on this folder sub folders and files now i'm going to click on okay click on apply and okay and close the window click next to continue click create on the confirmation screen a shared folder is now created and ready to use click on close we can see sales data rw folder is listed as a shared folder on our windows server 2022 now users who are member of sales group can access this file share from their computers by accessing this shared folder path to see that go to windows 11 computer sign in as sam harper sam harper is member of the sales group and sales group can access the shared folder sales data rw this means sam harper can also access the shared folder let's try to access the shared folder which we have created on domain controller to access the windows smb shared from this windows 11 computer open run menu and enter the network address of this file server in the format unc path servers ip address or servers host name in our case we need to type unc path ws2022 hyphen dc01 and press enter key to access the shared folder we can see the shared folder name sales data rw can sam access the shared folder to check that double click on the shared folder name to access it the answer is yes since sam is member of the sales group and we have assigned read and write permission to sales group on this shared folder let's right click in free area select new and select folder let's give name sams data so user is successfully able to create the folder and if user can rename the folder that means user can also delete the folder we also want to check the current ntfs permission of this folder as well let's right click on folder and select properties click on security 
click on advanced and here we can see all these permissions are there uh, sales group permission is there which is inheriting from sales data rw folder and here we can see sam harper and he has a full control on this folder only since sam harper is creator owner of this folder and that's why sam harper has a full control on this folder that's all for this video on how to set up a shared folder with advanced ntfs permissions on windows server 2022 i hope you found this video helpful and interesting if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section thank you all for watching this video have a nice day